In our Newsworthy Clips article this month, we talk about bored seismologists. Sounds exciting. <laughs> it does, it's I guess. Exciting. I didn't expect to see this topic, David. Certainly not. But I think it's because of the pandemic, there's just not a whole lot for them to do. Seismologists are people who kind of measure the vibrations of the earth. It's mm -hmm. kind of a, one way you could put it. Yeah, they've been tracking silence during the pandemic, and there's some fascinating research in our article. But what I want to ask you about, David, is mm -hmm. what do you do in order to try and create space in your life amid the busyness. Yeah, honestly, I, I like to take walks, mm -hmm. especially on like rainy nights and you know, when the streets are kind of slippery, you know, the streets are wet, they're shiny mm -hmm. at, at night. I like to go for walks and just kind of go through little alleyways and look at the different colors and, yeah. and just kind of let myself be in the scene, you know, not think about this thing or that thing, checking my phone or any of that. Just let myself be and focus on right now and on breathing. And, and that's something that helps me just appreciate being alive. It sort mm. of helps me appreciate the, all the sounds that are around me, whether mm. it's the sounds of silence or the sounds of traffic gently drumming along in the distance. Yes, to stop and observe what's going on around you mm -hmm. and to be intentional, that's great. Well, on day two, we have another study. We're talking about your, how your brain wants you to get out and to be more active. And this can, you know, you can think about good moods and bad moods and that sort of thing when you're staying indoors. And what is your natural response to a bad mood, David Moore? Mm. Well, the first thing I'm probably going to do is start overthinking it, mm -hmm. right? Which is, not an, which is not a good response, but <laughs> it is a starting point because when I start to overthink it, then I can, you know, kind of catch myself or at least notice that I'm aware of the fact that I'm in a bad mood and then I can pray about it. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then when I pray about it, then I can start to let it go. And mm. when I start letting it go is when I can start feeling thankful yes. for the things that are in my life instead of focusing on the things that are making me feel bad. And then when I start feeling thankful, then I'm going to start feeling joyful. So I see a pattern mm. here with you, David. You're stopping and you're thinking about things. You're not yeah. just moving on to the next thing, and mm. that's good to stop and reflect. Mm. Well, let's reflect on colds oh. for a minute because we also talk about that in our third article on Newsworthy Clips. Mm -hmm. And it says that you can take honey, and that can help your cough. But what do you normally do to treat a cough or a cold, David? You know that uh, it's this Korean stuff, this uh, honey <laughs> citron tea. Yeah. You can get it in a big jar, mm. put it in the fridge. You take a little spoonful of that, put it in a cup, add some hot water, mix it up. There you go. It's very nice, very refreshing. All right. Uh, I, I, whenever I have a cold, I tend to drink a lot of that kind of stuff. Mm. Wish I had some right here in this mm -hmm. cup. I like some ginger tea as well when mm. I have a cough or a cold, but maybe I'll take a spoon full of honey, yeah. right? Not sugar, if you get that reference, <laughs> hey. right? All right, anyways, we'll see you next time here on Insight.